Hey guys, it's Felix. So in the last video, we took a look at programming some Verilog to describe how the different logic elements were wired to each other. And in this video, we're going to look at how to write the code to describe the behavior and let the uh, compiler figure out how to build the logic elements in the configuration that we need. Now let's go into building a D flip-flop that is positive edge sensitive on the clock. We'll come up here, make a new source, D flip-flop Verilog. So here's our module and let's specify the inputs and outputs that we need for this guy. We have a clock. We're going to have the option for reset, which we don't technically need. Um, and then the outputs are Q and NQ. And we also need the input D. Now we are going to use some of these, but let's walk through them, them one step at a time. The behavior that we want on this guy is any time the clock hits a rising edge, we want to assign the value of D to Q. And then Q bar is, of course, going to be the opposite of Q. Now, Q and not Q are going to be saving their value and possibly hooking up to something else. So those are going to have to be what we talked about earlier, the registers. Reg, Q, and not Q. Then we need to tell it that every time the clock hits a positive edge, positive edge, positive edge, we want Q to get D's value and not Q to get not D's value. We do that with an always block and we give it a condition of pause edge clock. Interestingly enough, that means this will only happen when the clock hits a positive edge. What do you know? And then begin end to indicate that this is a block of code in here. So anytime we hit a positive edge, D or Q should be assigned the value of D and not Q should be assigned the value of not D. And that's it. We have just described the behavior that we want at a positive edge, save D and Q and save not D and not Q. And that's it. The FPGA is smart enough to, or the software that loads it on there is smart enough to build something that behaves just like this, which will essentially be one of these guys hooked up to a second one of these guys if you look at the actual hardware. That is pretty nifty. Hopefully you have a bit of a better understanding about inputs, outputs, modules, registers, which are 
wires that can store data and then wires which can't store data they just are a certain value hooked up to something else and a little bit about the designing of hardware either from a functional perspective or uh, behavioral well thank you for watching please like and subscribe